Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inx Laura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. So today's Thursday. I've got a few things planned for today. Uh, so let me kind of tell you what's going to be happening today. Um, first things first once i film this little part of the vlog i need to get ready because i only got up about half an hour ago i look a mess still got my night dress on <laughs> with unicorns and rainbows on um so yeah i've got to do my teeth and then i've got to jump in the shower get clean do my hair and then dry my hair and then get dressed um and then yeah i'm going to meet my friend lisa this morning so uh we're gonna go to a few places we've got some shops planned that we both need poundland uh sainsbury's there was somewhere else i can't remember <laughs> um we're gonna go get a coffee today as well i feel like i haven't had a starbucks for so long it's like horrible Ugh. oh my I feel sorry for me i haven't had a starbucks for a while but i haven't like normally i was having starbucks quite regularly because i love starbucks coffee but i just i don't know just haven't had one for ages so i'm really looking forward to getting a nice starbucks coffee um just to have a little catch up a little chat with lisa and then once i've left her i'm going to be coming home um probably have, like, have some lunch and stuff and um, we're having some new um flooring put in in our kitchen today like a new lino we did have like a kind of black sparkly ish kind of lino um, but we're having it replaced with this lino that kind of looks like wood panels so um yeah i'll show you obviously what it looks like uh, so that's cool nice to get like you know new things done in the house and stuff make it look a bit fresh and clean and new um anyway so that's that and then i want to do some reading i'm reading a really really good book at the moment which i'll tell you more about later so carry on watching uh really really good it's a ya thriller and it's just so good so i'll tell you about that later on also i've got some book posts yesterday randomly which i'll show you as uh, so there will be a little kind of book section of this video uh for my fellow bookworms out there yeah i, I got like this post turn up and i was like I haven't ordered this book there's no like kind of information of what publishers it's come from but hey it's all good it's a free book it's a proof copy and it sounds really cool about like magic and stuff but I'll, yeah I'll, I'll tell you more later so whoever sent it to me thank you <laughs> I appreciate it um what else have I got to do today but blah, 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 blah. oh yeah I've got to do some housework today I did downstairs housework yesterday and this uh today I've got to do upstairs so you know cleaning polishing hoovering etc so I've got to do that um, we'll do a bit of gaming tonight and um, I don't know really, maybe watch a TV show or something with Nathan or maybe some YouTube like paranormal spooky stuff or something. I think there's a new Slapped Ham video so we might sit and watch that. Uh, if you've not heard of Slapped Ham, honestly it's a great channel, a bit similar to Nuke's Top 5 which I love as well. They're probably my two favourite kind of paranormal uh, channels on YouTube. So yeah, we, we like to watch the new videos when they go on. Um, what else? What else? I don't know <laughs> oh you know what I want to do this is really random but I really want to do my feet tonight like <laughs> like kind of pamper myself self pamper because without going into detail I hope you're not eating your breakfast or lunch or dinner when I say this but anyway um my feet are like just a little bit rough like they feel a bit hard skin so I need to like mm, I won't film that don't worry <laughs> but I will show you the products that I use um in my pamper treatment so yeah but I'm not going to show you like doing my feet that just disgusting uh anyway so uh carry on watching i'll try as the same and vlog throughout the day in, in little bits and pieces um so yeah <laughs> okay right i'm gonna sort myself out because i look a mess and i need to get done i'm meeting lisa in like oh shit okay about half an hour um i still look like this i better hurry up and get ready do, 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 do. Okay, so just go out of the shower, hence my hair is still wet, so I've got to go and dry that quickly. My fringe is really long, I need to cut that when I get home. Um, this is what I'm wearing today, just thought I'd show you. I love this top so much. Fierce! <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing, just with some black leggings. Obviously, I haven't got any shoes on yet, I'm not going to go out barefooted. Um, anyway, so I'm going to quickly hurry up, dry my hair, get some shoes on and go. Okay, so just before I go out, I thought I'd do like a little before and after with the kitchen floor. That's exciting, isn't it? Uh, so this is basically the floor beforehand. Um, so yeah, carry on watching. And once the floor's been done, you'll see the new look floor. <laughs> I'm 
I just wanted to show you this sign that's on this gate. It just makes me laugh. Beware of the wife. <laughs> it shouldn't make me laugh, but it does. Sort of beware of the dog, beware of the, beware of the wife. Nathan had, she'd have on our door, beware of the fiance. <laughs> just walking along to meet Lisa. There's a big tree here. I love trees. The leaves on this tree are massive. Whoa, it is uh, very hot, very humid. There is a bit of a breeze now, which there wasn't five minutes ago, so that's good. But uh, the hay fever, oh, the hay fever is terrible. It's so bad. Lots of pollen in the air. Oh, I've had uh, my Benadryl tablet. Um, showing you this church and I'm not going in because I've got time but it is a cool if you can think that church graveyard type of place I love the trees anyway um <laughs> sorry yeah Benadryl I've had that but I've also took some uh, paracetamol as well so I just feel ropey a bit groggy today so I thought I'd get some painkillers in me as well as the Benadryl and also I've had my uh, asthma pump as well seeing a bit this is such a creepy graveyard church place oh well, it just went all like that's all right it's because of that I thought why is it going out of focus if you can see any ghosts let me know oh yeah, that place is creepy. Creepy. Um, yeah, I'm about five minutes late-ish meeting Lisa. I'm always late. I don't mean to be. I just faff around getting ready. <laughs> anyway, she should be waiting for me at the, uh, the cricketer's pub. I feel like I haven't been to a pub or a bar in ages. So long. Obviously, COVID locked down and, you know, then everything was closed. But I know they're open again now, but I don't know. Maybe soon I'll go to one. But I've got to be honest, maybe I'm being over paranoid. But if I do go to a bar, like a pub, I'd have a straw with my drink. I wouldn't just want to, like, drink out of the uh, glass itself. Because I know they wash their glasses, but do you know what I mean? Just in case they're not washed properly. Because we've all been to places and had like lipstick marks on. You know, what's it? It's the same now. So if I do go somewhere like that, I'd, uh, I'd make sure that I um, have a straw. Anyway, <laughs> a bit of random information, but this is where I used to work years ago. Like, it's a really tall building. Whoa. <laughs> I used to work on the uh, fourth floor and it's uh, BT, British Telecom. So yeah, I used to work there. Ooh. <laughs> I started as uh, a temp and ended up being kind of permanent there. I was there for ages. Oh, there's Lisa. There she is. Let's zoom in. I don't know if you can see her. No, that's, that's a man. <laughs> She's outside. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's Lisa. Hello. And we're just off to a few shops now. Poundland. 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 <laughs> what's, what's that on your top? I like that top. Cest la what? La vie. Say, oh, say la, la vie. vie. Say la vie. Not cest. Cest. <laughs> Okay, so just heading into the post office now because I've got some things to post from uh, my eBay. All right, so I've just posted uh, my eBay parcels. So you know me, being a bookworm, I'm looking around at the books. I've been listening to this on audiobook actually, Elton John. Oh, what's Lisa found? <laughs> That's what she's found. <laughs> A child's book. <laughs> we, it wasn't me. Um, yeah, Smiths are good. They've got some good books in here. Most of these I've read, to be fair. 
Um, got some thrillers, got some YA. What is she finding? I don't know what she's found. Look at this. My, it's so noisy. Oh my. I'm looking at the serious books. And she, she ends up with that. Um, oh, look at that. Love songs for skeptics. Love isn't all you need. Oh no, I'm not allowed to buy any books. No, Nathan has put me on a book ban because I've got so many books. They're all, they're, they're so many. They're not just filling up the bookcases, but they're also in piles of books as well. So uh, I'm, I'm on a book ban, but that did look cool. Where's Wally? Party time. Have you ever done Where's Wally? Yes. I don't mean have you done Where's Wally. <laughs> what? I mean of his face. I've got a Where's Lisa as well. Have you? What's that? Why are you picking up all the poop and farting ones and we? <laughs> Oh, this one's lift the flap. Lift the flap? Oh my. Oh, this one's quite cute actually, look. Can't really get them on my glasses on. <laughs> Let's have a look at your face mask. Got a little sunflower and a butterfly, that's ah, nice. Thank you. Yeah. The bench. That's from, uh, what's her name, Megan. Megan and Harry. Anyway, okay. so I'm going to look around the books for a little bit and then we're going to go, I think, to um, Panland. I think is the next plan. What are you found Uncle now? Thomas Moore. Oh look. That's nice. I love Uncle Tom. Yeah. Not Uncle Tom. What was his name? Sir Tom. Sir Tom. <laughs> Tom. I don't know who Uncle Tom is. Uncle Sir Tom. Tom. He was a lovely man. That's a really nice book. This is uh brilliant this book. I didn't have this cover, I had a different cover, but it's such a good book. If you've not read the Mercies, read it because it's brilliant. I've got that to read. Uh, this one's supposed to be good, but I'm not allowed to buy any books. I've been banned for a while. So this is brilliant. I'm telling her, she won't read them. Now you no. used to read as a little girl and then you yeah, stopped. <laughs> and now you read those. <laughs> yeah. Show you these, they are kind of scattered around South End at the moment. You could do a hunt for the hares and they've all been done so beautifully. Look at this one. There's all been like different ones all around South End and they all look different but they're all hares. Look at this, this is amazing. It's really cool, isn't it? I think I might steal him and put him in my uh, nice bedroom. <laughs> a joke, obviously, a joke. Make me jump. Oh, there it is. Hares About Town. This is called Sunrise, created by Jane High. She looked like she was high when she painted it. <laughs> anyway, we <laughs> found another one. This is uh, Hoppy Poppy, created by who? Oh, Rachel Blackwell. Ah, very orange face. Orange. Orange. Oh, look, there's the poppies and the grass. That's pretty cool. Poppies on the bum. Poppies all round. I like the other one better. I mean, this is cool, but. This is nice. What one do you like better? Yeah, the other one had a bit more to it, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're just heading into Poundlands now. I've got massive choice of people. <laughs> I'm just walking home and I saw all these pretty pink flowers. They're so nice. Look at these. I don't know what they're called because I'm not really into flower knowledge, but they're so pretty. And pink. Anyway, I don't want to keep filming someone's uh, house, so I've walked on, but they were really pretty. Anyway, so yeah, a nice time with Lisa, and uh, I'm just walking back now. Whew, so hungry, I haven't eaten at all all day, which is silly. So I should have had something before I went, but I didn't have time, so I was running late as ever. So yeah, I'm hoping that the uh, let me turn the camera around because you can't actually see my face.
there we go wow look at this face <laughs> um but yeah no so basically the guys that were going to come around to fit the kitchen uh lino uh were supposed to be here this morning but they haven't turned up yet they rung my mum and said that they're going to be late so um yeah i'm hoping i get time before they get here to you know, get into the kitchen quick and uh make myself a bit of food because once obviously they're here um i won't be able to get into the kitchen because obviously they'll be lifting all the old lino up then putting the new lino down and so the kitchen is going to be out of bounds so i need a drink i need some food so i'm hoping that they'll just be a little bit later <laughs> so i've managed to eat kind of thing but if they're not they're not I just have to deal with it um i've got a drink in my bag so got a few little bits and pieces in Poundland. I'll do a little haul when I get home. Nothing too exciting, but a few little bits and pieces. Done my eBay posting. Um, there was quite a big queue in the post office today, but it was all good because I used a self-service machine. God, my camera looks really like, needs like a good wipe. Hold on. There we go. That's a bit clearer. I was like, well, I thought it was the light at first, but I think it just needed a little bit of a wipe. Um, yeah, so just got to nip into the local shop, grab a couple of drinks for Nathan, and he wants some biscuits, packet of biscuits. I was like, what biscuits do you want? He was like, hobnobs. I was like, of all the biscuits, hobnob. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just find it really funny, the name hobnob. Hobnob. Hold on, I just want to show you this person's garden if I can really quickly because it's so nice. Oh, I was so worried they were going to come out and go, what are you doing? But you know when you see like really lovely gardens and I always walk past that one and just think, wow, like that's done out so nice. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, nip in the shop, get some bits and pieces, hopefully get some food in me. If not, I'll have to wait a couple of hours. My hay fever is really bad oh it's awful there's a butterfly ah keep over there ah. i do love butterflies i think they're beautiful but i just don't want them near me <laughs> some more pretty flowers it's like a flower hunt today they're pretty i love looking at flowers but flowers don't like me because the uh the hay fever and stuff but anyway um and then yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to do some uh, editing and I've got a premiere to set up, video premiere for tonight on my ASMR channel. So I'll set that up, put all the tags in and stuff like that. So I'll probably do that actually when I get in after I've eaten hopefully. Um, and then yeah. Okay, so I'm at home now, managed to have something to eat, which is good because the um, floor guys haven't been yet. So I was like, yes, I can get in the kitchen. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd do a really quick little shopping haul and then I'm gonna watch uh, a TV show, which I've not seen before, but I'll tell you about that in a moment. So let me show you what I've got. I've got a chocolate milkshake, my Yazoo, favorite chocolate milkshake ever. Uh, I've got Nathan a couple of cans of Coca-Cola. There we go, God, cool, they're ice cold. Anyway, uh, I've got two bubble wraps because obviously I need the bubble wrap for uh, eBay packaging and stuff. Here's a bit of ASMR for you. <laughs> um, by the way, if you like ASMR, check out my other uh, channel, Minxlaw123. ASMR. Oddly satisfying. Tingles, tingles, tingles. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Um, oh yeah, I've got these. My friend uh, Lisa got these for her little boy because he gets like car sickness. These are motion sickness relief bracelets. Now, I know I'm not a kid, but when I was younger, I used to have really bad travel sickness issues. Um, and even now in cars, I, I do sometimes feel quite um, like anxious and I feel sick and stuff. So I was like, oh, I haven't seen these for years. I didn't even know if they still made them. Um, so yeah, they're motion sickness relief bracelets. And it says ideal for motion sickness, morning sickness and nausea. Uh, use on planes, boats, trains and cars. And yeah, you just put them around like a bracelet. And uh, they really did help me when I was younger. So let's see if they help now. I've got two bags of walnuts. 
So these aren't for me, they're not for Nathan and they're not for my mum. So you're probably thinking, who have I got two bags of walnuts for? Um, I got them for the squirrels in the garden. We've been feeding the squirrels and the birds as well. Uh, and probably the foxes have a little bit of munch in our garden. But um, yeah, we, we we love feeding like animals and stuff. Like It's lovely. And um, every so often, like in the week, we go out and we leave like a few handfuls of walnuts and uh, on top of the shed and stuff and the squirrels have been coming along eating it we've caught we've caught them in there like we can see them through the window just like sitting on top of the shed like eating the walnuts it's super cute so yeah these are big old bags so this would be a good like couple of weeks worth of uh of walnuts for them and here i know i said i won't get any more tote bags and to be fair i've been really good i haven't bought any tote bags for ages but i couldn't resist these because they're just gorgeous you've got wonder woman Who's my favourite superhero? Uh, these are a new collection, by the way, in Poundland. So I, I couldn't resist this for a pound. I mean, it's just lovely. I love this. Um, and also, check this out. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a see me rolling. And it's these lovely, adorable little dogs uh, with that, that kind of rolly skin type of thing. Um, <laughs> I love them. In the little car, see me rolling. Anyway, but I do use these all the time, you know. I have them for when I go shopping or, you know, when I'm carrying my eBay parcels and stuff. But I just, I can't resist them. Um, that's not from a shop. That's from the fridge. Capri Sun. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, yeah, this is from Poundland as well. This is the um, Carex uh, Nourish Antibacterial Hand Wash. So we needed a new one for our kitchen sink. There's one there already, but it's time to like run out and stuff. So I said I would pick one up. Um, I think there's yeah one more thing here to show you, which is the uh, simple ultra calming sheet mask uh, with hemp seed oil, kind to the skin. So I'm not going to actually be putting this on my face, which is you're probably thinking, why did you get it? Um, it's actually for an ASMR video I've got planned, like another kind of spa pamper role play because people love those videos. I get a lot of views on them compared to other videos I kind of put out. So I thought I haven't done a spa themed ASMR role play for ages, so. Yeah, I'm going to like pamper the viewer with this. And the fact that it says ultra calming on it is like perfect and stuff. Um, but these are really cool. I, I think these are nice. And I, I do like Simple. They do some good products. I use their like, if I do wear makeup, I use their um, eye makeup remover and stuff. So for stressed and sensitive skin. So um, anyway, that's that. <laughs> this is the bag I used today. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I'm just sitting on my mum's bed. I'm going to watch TV in here because she's got Sky in her room. We have got Sky in our room, but it's a real nightmare because um, Nathan's Xbox is plugged in and we have to change all the settings and stuff. So like, if I ever want to watch something on Sky, which to be fair isn't that often, um, I watch it in here in the day. And obviously we've got Sky TV downstairs at night if I wanted something. But um, he's watching some... I don't know what he's watching actually, but he's watching some show next door and I'm just about to watch this show. Now, it's new to me, but it's probably not new. Um, but I love all these dating shows and stuff like that. But yeah, this is called Secret Crush and it says here, Love Lawn Daryl plucks at the heartstrings with his song for Ain while Kira faces a tough time convincing Troy they should tie the knot as soon as possible um so yeah secret crush I think you're kind of getting where it's going it's, it's, it's people that have secret crushes on other people and then they get them there and they film it like their reaction and I watched like a trailer of it the other day and I just thought oh this looks really funny and cute and um like one of the girls was like you could see she was just like oh no you've got a crush on me Ugh. but another one like was like oh my god it's you so yeah you never know when you tell your secret crush if you like them or not how it's gonna go so this looks quite cool so i'm gonna watch this um it's how long 36 minutes well, probably about 35 minutes um so yeah i'm gonna watch this and um I don't know what I'm doing after that. I might do my editing and like set up my video premiere for the ASMR channel video tonight. And uh, yeah, keep watching to find out what else I do. Okay, so now I've gone from a dating show filled with romance <laughs> to uh, Slapped Ham. These scary ghost sightings will keep you awake tonight. I said I don't. I don't need a good <laughs> sleep. Uh, so yeah, me and Nathan are going to watch some ghosty stuff. Oh, there's another one there, look. Ghost screams from Treetop. Tree oh, look at the one next to it. Rewaving or strange cryptid. What's a cryptid? Oh, it's had like a monster yeah. thing in it. Yeah, so we're going to watch some paranormal stuff. I don't know what you're doing after this. Oh yeah, I'm going to play Cowboys. <laughs> that makes you sound like a child going to play Cowboy Indian game. Yeah, I am, pretty much. 
No, like as in the game. There's Red Dead Online. Red Red Dead. Yeah. Red Dead is Online. yeah. That's the cowboy game. Yeah. I'll probably do some editing, I think, and YouTube work comments. I've got to sit and reply to all my comments as well. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's now the uh, the book section of this video. You know that um, I'm gonna always include a a book or two or three or four <laughs> in my vlogs at some point but yeah um, I've just been doing some reading I'm nearly finished this book this is my current read by the way it's called That Weekend and it's by Cara Thomas and if you like YA thrillers like seriously check her out she's such a good author her thrillers are just so good there's a list here of all of them Hold on, there we go. So, Darkest Corners, Little Monsters, Cheerleaders, and That Weekend, this one, obviously. Um, and it's, yeah, she's just such a good author. She really gets you kind of hooked and wanting to know what happens. So this, uh, I'll read this to you. Three best friends, a lake house, secret trip, what could go wrong? It was supposed to be the perfect prom weekend getaway, but it's clear something terrible has happened when Claire wakes up alone and blooded on a hiking trail with no memory of the past 48 hours. Now everyone wants answers, most of all Claire. She remembers Friday night, but after that nothing. And now Cat and Jesse, her best friends, are missing. What happened on the mountain and where are Cat and Jesse? Claire knows the answers are buried somewhere in her memory, but as she's learning, everyone has secrets, even her best friends. And she's pretty sure she's not gonna like what she remembers. Yeah, as I say, like, <laughs> Just, it's so good as ever her books are amazing um i'll get this done tonight i think yeah there's not too much left uh so yeah that is my current read really really recommend this um as i nearly finished it and just found out a massive twist i was like one of it one of the twists well there's a couple of twists one of the twists i did see kind of coming um well, I might obviously give you spoilers, but like one of the characters who was nice isn't, and I was like kind of thinking that's going to be the case. But the other twist I did not see happening at all, so now I'm like, what? Totally, yeah, totally shocked me there. So, yeah, really enjoying this. So, let me show you the book post that I've had. Um, as I say, I got a book sent to me in the post yesterday. There is like um, a leaflet, a paper leaflet, but I don't know where that's gone. Um, somewhere but yeah I don't know who sent this to me I think obviously a publishing company has sent this to me um because I've had like pre-orders that sorry pre-orders uh, proof copies sent to me in the past by companies to review and promote etc and I kind of vaguely vaguely remember writing to this company asking them for a like proof copy that I don't know like I write to so many different like you know people asking for proof copies I kind of forget who I wrote to anyway it's here and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's called A Marvellous Light by Freya Mosk is it Mosky Mosk wowza look at this cover it's just adorable um so I'm not going to go into like the whole book like what it's about but you can kind if you want to read the screen and press pause now you can see what it's about but uh, I'll just read that top bit. Robin knew nothing about magic. Now it's trying to kill him. That sounds sounds interesting. Uh, welcome to an Edwardian England. Adventure, queer romance and magic infused mystery. Perfect for fans of The Binding, which I loved, and The Invisible Library, which I also loved. So, um, yeah, really interesting. And thank you for a free book. Uh, also, this was uh, sent to me very kindly. Uh, this book, honestly, is it's just going to be so good and um, it's actually going to be my next read so as soon as I finish this one I'll be on to this one so this is The City Beautiful by Aidan Polydorus and uh, he was so kind he actually gifted me this book so the actual author Aidan actually sent me this like how sweet is that it's so kind all the way from America as well so uh, he sent me like the tracking details so I was like tracking it on its journey and when it turned up I was like it's here um yeah really really excited to uh, read this it's just such a gorgeous cover as well look at this cover so this is the uncorrected proof so i don't know if they're going to keep it with this cover i think possibly it'll be this or something similar and um, there's been a lot of hype about this book already it's featured in a lot of like articles about ya books to look forward to this year kind of thing and um lgbtqi plus kind of articles um so i don't know it, it just sounds really really interesting um it says there's a quote here from one of my uh, another authors that I love, Dahlia Adler, and it says the city beautiful is the haunting queer Jewish historical thriller of my darkest dreams. There's a dip book in this as well, which uh, I've never read. It says here, look, living a nightmare possessed by 
a Dybbuk. I've never read a book with a Dybbuk in it, and I'm, I'm really fascinated. I know a bit about them and stuff, but I don't know that much, but I want to know more. And to read a story about this also deals with um, anti-Semitism, and there's romance in it, and friendship, and lots of, like magical stuff and yeah it's just honestly it just sounds really really good so this is going to be my next read let's have a little look at this uh oh yeah i was going to say yeah there's a little note in it how sweet is this look to laura i hope you enjoy this read aiden polydorus i love that when authors like sign it it just makes it a little more personal so let's have a look at this first couple of sentences anguished sobs echoed down the winding stairwell stairwell bouncing off the walls like the cries of strange birds here on Maxwell Street, weeping was as common as crying babies, quarrelling and laughter. Just, I wish I could write like this, it's not fair. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be my next book, and it's great to have like some Jewish stuff and mystery and magic, so um, yeah, that's my next read. And the only other book I want to show you is this one here, which turned up in the post today. I'm going to be doing, or hopefully going to be doing, a buddy read with someone who, I've got to be honest, like, I don't really know who she is. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? But I'm being honest. Like basically, I'm on Twitter and I, I follow quite a few like booktubers and like, bookish people and stuff. And this girl put out a tweet, and she was just like, "Oh, you know, I'm looking looking for buddy reads in August. Uh, here's a list of the books that I've got." And there were like six books or something that she was planning reading. And I was like, "Oh." So I look I looked them up, and I was like, mm, "Not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea." And then I saw this one on the list, and I, I just, I like the title of it, I like the, the name, The Lady Rogue, just sounds really like, oh, my cup of tea. Um, and then I saw it was by Jen Bennett, who I've read before, Night Owls was sensational, I've, I've got Alex um, approximately over there to read as well. Um, but anyways, anyway, so I went on eBay, picked up like a second-hand copy, it is a very good copy, apart from up here, there's like some random pen on it, <laughs> it's like... I actually thought it was a bookmark at first, like one of those kind of, you know, ribbon ones, but it's not, it's just a bit of ink. But anyway, it's in lovely condition, apart from that. And here's the um, the cover, which is cool, like the black and red, which I love. But yeah, this sounds really good. And once I read about it, I went on Goodreads, saw what it was about, and I was hooked. You know, there's uh, Vlad the Impaler. Um, I'll do the same again. I'll hold the back there for you, so if you want to press pause and read this, you can. But yeah, The Ring of Vlad the Impaler, it's to do with uh, Vlad and vampires and just, yeah, it just sounds like a really exciting adventure. The Ring, sorry, it was an occult talisman forged from dragon, magical powers. I just think this sounds so good. To be honest, I don't want to wait till August. I want to read it like now, but I'm not going to do that because I wrote to this girl and I was like, hey, you know, uh, I'm Laura and I'm bookworm and I'd love to buddy read this with you. And she said, when would it suit you? And I was like, the first week in August sounds good. She's like, yeah, that sounds great. But I don't really know who she is, but we'll see. I mean, I'll write to her again in, in like the beginning of August and see if she's up for it and stuff. Because I said to Nathan, I get really sad that like I haven't really got any book friends. Like I've got a few booktubers who I watch and I really enjoy their videos and like, you know, obviously I love them as people and stuff, but like I haven't got any of my own like actual friends who I can just like buddy read with and talk about the book together and you know what I mean? I get I get sad about that. So I, I have been looking for people to like buddy read the same book with at the same time, and then like each chapter you can just uh, discuss the book, discuss the character's story, how it's going, and yeah. So I hope it does work, and I hope to do more buddy reads like in the future. But this book is just gorgeous. I love the eyes. Look at that piercing eye. This cover is just intense. Love it. Anyway, so that's enough booky stuff for now. I'm going to get back to. Uh, this book here so yeah i am um, did i do yeah i watched some paranormal stuff then i did my comments on youtube well i done them on one channel i haven't done them on the other channel because it was it just took me too long but i will do them at some point and uh yeah i set up my video premiere for tonight on the other channel so that's all done um rest of the evening i think i don't know just chilled one I want to, as I say, do a bit of self-pamper, which will be nice, and uh, on my feeties, and maybe a little bit of gaming, but I don't know, because I've got a bit of a headache coming on, so I'm like, mm, I'm not sure, but I really enjoy playing on the Switch now, so I don't know, we'll see, maybe just like half an hour or something, see how I feel, but anyway, carry on watching, and you'll find out 
what I do <laughs> the, rest of the, the rest of the evening. Uh, by the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you are. Um, I do like doing the uh, spend a day with me vlogs, and you know, sorry if my life isn't particularly that like majorly exciting, but you know, every day's different. I'm always doing something, but it, it'll always in involve like reading at some point. <laughs> um, and by the way, that show Secret Crushes was absolutely fantastic. Like, I literally loved it. It was so good. So I really recommend that as well. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to try and get this book done now. Um, I did the housework as well. Yeah, I did the housework upstairs. That's all done. Clean the toilet. That's always exciting. <laughs> oh, and the new floor's down, uh, which I'll show you. When I go downstairs in a bit, I'll film uh, the new floor so you can see it. It looks really good, actually. It looks really realistic, even though it's lino. Like, it looks really realistic. So you'll see. Let us know in the comments what you think of, of the new floor. Okay, so it's time for the big reveal. Here is the new flooring. It looks pretty cool, actually, doesn't it? Like a wooden look. Did you just see that orb going past there? That was, like, really random. Did you all see that? Let me know if you saw that. Because I could see it on the screen just going whoosh. And there's not, you know, nothing else happening. So that was weird. Okay. Because if it was, like, dust particles, there'd be, like, loads of them. But there isn't. So that was really creepy. Um, we have had some paranormal stuff happen recently, but I'm not going to go into that now. But yeah, this is a new floor. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section if you like it. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks very realistic because it is only, like, nylon. Uh, nylon. <laughs> it's not nylon. <sighs> Sorry, I'm very tired. It's, um, vinyl. <laughs> nylon. Nylon are what you make yeah, your, clothes your clothes out of. Oh, man. But yeah, I think it looks really nice. Do you? Yeah, it does look nice. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so it's time for a little bit of a, a foot pamper, a little bit of self pamper. Get these feet uh, smooth and tidy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I've got a bit of a headache, so I'm starting to feel really tired. Um, right, okay, so this is my Petty Pro Deluxe. This is great. Um, so good. Really does get all that hard skin off. We saw it on QVC. Yeah, we saw it on QVC for like a lot of money and then went on eBay and just got it cheap <laughs> it is good it is, is good um this is from body shop and i actually went in and asked them if they had anything like feet. a feet because you had hot feet because it was the summer <laughs> hot fat feet now i yeah i was suffering from like this hot feet syndrome it's it's not a syndrome it's just called it's summer it's hot <laughs> it's not it's an illness it's, it's, it's summer it's hot, hot. feet <laughs> It was uh, summer, <laughs> it was hot. Her feet were hot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Nah. <laughs> oh, I'm really tired. Um, yeah, so that I basically I got recommended this. <laughs> the Body Shop Peppermint and it's cooling foot lotion. Expert care for active feet. And I'm very active on my feet. To stop that hot foot syndrome. Hot foot syndrome. And it really does help, like, cool them down. But... I also add in some of this, which is my Astral Original. I know it says, oh no, body, that is your feet. I was thinking it's only for your face, but it says feet, face and body. Feet, what? <laughs> this is terrible, I'm so sorry, everyone. Anyway, um, but yeah, I use, I use this mixed in with the peppermint. So you get the coolness from that, but also the extra softness um, from this. And you just love the smell of it. And I, <laughs> I really love the smell of Astral. Anyway, so I'm going to do a little bit of self-pamper on my feet. I'm not going to show you that because it's kind of... Are you joking me? What? Another orb just went past. And there's no... It can't be dust because there'd be loads of them. Another orb just shot right past. And you're pointing at the floor. I'm pointing at the floor, yeah. That was really weird. So we've had two orbs in like five minutes. But as I say, some paranormal stuff has been occurring yeah, exactly. in the last week. That was really weird. All right then. Right. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm just doing a quick uh, video premiere on my ASMR channel. Got some nice people here in the chat room, some familiar faces, which is uh, always nice. So that will be nearly done soon, I reckon. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, I might have a read, might do some gaming. I don't know what I fancy. We shall see. Okay, so I'm just playing a little bit of World of Tank Blitz. It's not been great tonight, has it? It's not been terrible, but it's, it's not been great. Uh, it's not been great. 
I think it's because I'm like I'm not really in the mood to play, but I am. You want to be in the mood? Yeah. To... But I'm trying. So yeah, world of tanks. Let's do this. You can watch me get <laughs> killed. Waiting players. Come on, players. Oh. In five. Three. <laughs> Move out. Well, that's a nice looking tank next to me. Like a grey kind of blue. So we're looking for tanks of the opposite team with red around them. And we've got capture the flag as well. There's D over there. Let's try and get it. Oh, the red team have got one, I think. Oh no, the green have got one. I'm going to try and grab this one. I better get got. There we go. Yeah, I'm, on. I'm going to turn my thing around because there might be something. Oh, they're around there. Come on, let me get. I think you get extra points, I say, if you capture a flag, don't you? Yeah, it's a little. Something. Which gives you a bit more experience. Yeah, I love that. Experience. That'll do me. Oh. I'm going to go through the wall. And over the truck. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, they're on the right. Oh, there's one. There's one. They've spotted me. Try and get it. Do! That's not a tank, that was a bit of rubble. No, but the tank's behind it. Oh, they've got theirs red. Oh, no. Uh oh. There's one either side of the Is there? Oh. Ah! Thanks. Come on. Come on, load. Boom. Ah! <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> I might go in the leopard. There's different tanks. You can see them on different tanks. So you have completed the mission. Though. I've got a mission done. That's good. Uh, where's the leopard? Leopard goes. And it fires. That is a very good representation of the leopard's machine gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. I don't think it's a very heavy tank, is it? No, it's a very light tank. But it makes good sound effects. Yeah. It, it's meant to drive up behind people and shoot them in the bum. Oh. I like looking at people's names. Carmen Conrado. Lightning, Lightning Hopkins. I was looking at that, yeah. Well, I'll film this one more game and then I'll um, stop filming. Right, five, four, three. <coughs> oh, lovely scenery, Nick, in the mountains. But anyway, we're not here to look at scenery. You're here to kill. <coughs> oh, I've got hiccups now. Killed. Right, so I'm going to try and stay with my team as much as possible. Because what I do, I end up being like a <laughs> vigilante on its own. Not Rambo. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Oh, there's a red. I see a red. Over there somewhere. I just saw them. There it is. Zoom. Ah! <laughs> it's there. Yeah. Oh, I thought I ate it and it you, said it you bounced did, off. You did do a bit of damage. Oh, did I? Oh! Ah. And a bit more damage. Oh, good. So you're not going to blow oh. without having done anything. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so it's the end of the video. I thought I would say good night to you all. Thank you so much for watching. And um, please click like, comment, share, subscribe, and smash the notification bell. Check out Minx Law 123, my other YouTube channel. Link is down below, as are all the links to my social media as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to be having a little read now for a while. It's 5 to 12. We normally go about about 1 ish, probably, uh, tonight. And so, yeah try and keep awake but sometimes I end up having a little nap on this sofa but I'm going to try and keep awake so I've got my new book here to start which is a proof copy Ooh. so uh see beautiful by Aidan Polidorus let's see what it's like I hope it's good sounds good anyway thank you for watching I'll see you soon